Well, this Bay Area grandmother cried out in pain, but despite her pleas, a local paramedic decided against taking her to the hospital. It, would, it was a decision that would prove to be fatal. Hours after the paramedic left, that grandmother died. Her family didn't know what happened until we reached out to them. Our aid on your side investigation revealed that the paramedic didn't even check her vitals during the call. And despite the mistakes, that paramedic will not lose his license. Investigator Walt Buteau joining us live in studio with details. Keith and Stacey, state investigators determined Nathan Register not only failed to provide adequate care in this case, he also tried to cover up his conduct. Now the family of that gran grandmother wants to know why Register is allowed to keep his license. 911, what's the address of your emergency? Inside this Pasco County home, Don Crowder was dying. She just screaming in pain, holding her head. The 61-year-old, remembered by her family as a bright light who loved playing with her grandchildren, had been staying with the Gracianos, who called 911 after hearing Crowder yell. She's screaming with a headache and nausea. What did she yell? That she needs, that she needs that she, that her head hurt. She goes, ah, like, you know, like she's screaming. But the Pasco County Fire Rescue Crew did not take Crowder to the hospital, leading to a second 911 call hours later after Crowder had passed away. I think she's dead. Okay, just stay in the line. Department of Health investigators alleged paramedic Nathan Register failed to perform any evaluations or examinations and fraudulently documented the encounter as a dry run. Register has not responded to our request to answer questions about why he decided not to transport Crowder. The final order in the case says Register replied to the allegations in a hearing by, quote, objecting to the amount of the administrative fine. But the document states there are no material facts in dispute. Crowder's family members tell me they are frustrated and angry about what they say was a lack of punishment. Register was fined $3,000, and his paramedic's license was suspended six months followed by six months probation. But despite what the state alleges he did not do for Crowder, Register could potentially work as a licensed paramedic in Florida as early as the end of this year. Register also had to pay 15 or was ordered to pay $1,500 to cover the cost of the investigation. Crowder's younger sister called me just a while ago and told us the fine was a slap on the wrist and she said Register should never be allowed to be a paramedic again, in her opinion. So I'm wondering, Walt, can the family do anything at this point and take any action, a civil lawsuit even? Well, so that sort of touches on a story that we've been investigating for a while. Crowder's family cannot sue due to the state's controversial so-called free kill medical malpractice law. Crowder's children are over the age of 25 and she was not married at the time of her death. So, you know, in one way that will keep some of the details of this case from coming out because, mm. again, we won't see a civil case right. and we won't see a criminal investigation. Wow. Thank you, Walt. Okay. If you have something you'd like Walt to investigate, you can call the 8 on your side helpline. There's the number 1-800-338-0808.